What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI here another HP Pro Desk 600 G1. This video is going to be two down. I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to move the side cover panel. And what you guys need is uh, either flat head screwdriver or you'll, if you don't have a flat head screwdriver, you could just use a Torx. You could just use a Torx T15 screwdriver. And it'll work. If you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, then you could just use a flat head screwdriver. It'll work perfectly fine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off from the uh, from the from the front cover base. So I'm going to there'll be a clips right here. So with your finger gently lift them up like this. Gently lift them up. And we're in the bottom too right here. So to remove the front cover basil and it comes right out like this. Now disconnect the SATA and power from the optical drive here. And you're gonna lift up this right here. So there's gonna be a clip right here. Secure clip for the optical drive right here. You press it down right here, your finger, and your optical drive should slide to the right like this. And there's a little secure clip you have to press on right here, the green one, you have to press it down. And your optical drive should slide out, just like that. And this, uh, this is the secure clip that holds by you. Press it down like this to slide it to the right side. So we got that removed. Now I'm gonna lift this up and remove the, the solar. We're gonna move the solar state drive. So you're gonna disconnect the SATA power cable from the solar state drive. And there's a little clip right here, a secure clip. You press it up like this, and your solar state drive slides right out like that. Now We're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the back side of here. I'm gonna move the power supply. I'm gonna be using the Torx T15 screwdriver here. There will be three screws in the back that holds the power supply. Now I'm gonna slide it to the other side, like this. And there'll be a secure clip right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect all the other cables for the power supply that's connected to the motherboard here. You can disconnect the USB 3.0 right here, connector for the front. And just disconnect all the other SATA cables here. And to move the power supply, there'd be four pin right here on the top. You guys have to disconnect that on the top. So you're gonna move the fence route here. And it's a four pin right there. You have to disconnect for the power supply. And there's a little bit of secure clip right here. I'll show you guys uh, right there. So what you're gonna do is you take a screwdriver, you press down this clip right here. You press it down with the screwdriver, the secure clip like this, and your power supply slides right out to the right side. Allow you to remove the power supply. And what you guys have to do is disconnect the, uh, it's got a wire tie here, so what you have to do is you have to cut it either with, uh, let me get a pliers, you have to cut it. got a wire tie here that holds on this wire right here so you have to cut it right here the wire tie the plastic piece okay so now I'm gonna move the power supply and the power supply is removed now I'm gonna go ahead and start off I'm gonna start off from the heat to remove the heat sink fan here Get it close so you guys can see better. And do the other side. I 
Okay, there's a four pin right here that you have to disconnect. Let's connect the CPU fan right here. You have to disconnect, disconnect it for the four pin right here to disconnect from the motherboard. You gently disconnect it right here. And remove the heatsink fan right here, processor, cooler. Now we're going to remove the memory. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and remove the, disconnect all the other cables, connectors right here that's connected to the motherboard here. That's like internal speaker right there. That's a, looks like it's a power switch, on a uh, power switch right here, the hard drive power LED right there, connector. And I'm gonna remove the processor. So there's a little clip right here, you take your finger like this, press on this clip right here, allow you to remove the processor. Uh, be really gently how you move the processor, you have to go lift up like this and go straight up like this. Like that, and you're done. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you disconnect uh, all the other wires. I'm gonna try. We're gonna remove the motherboard, and now it's gonna be three screws on the top, three, six. So the total eight screws here, the motherboard. So we start up at the bottom here. You guys, can zoom in the camera, okay? You can see better. And we're gonna move the PCI brackets here. They're low profile PCI brackets. Now, and I'm gonna remove the CMOS battery later when I remove the motherboard, I'll show you guys, remove the CMOS battery. And uh, so it'll be so good. There'll be three more screws here in the top. Then we get the last. Okay, there'll be the last screw right here in the left side here in the corner. Okay, so I'm gonna try guys get a flathead screwdriver and I'm move the CMOS battery right here and it's gonna hold by the clip right here. So you're gonna take this right here, the clip on the flathead screwdriver, press on the clip and the CMOS battery comes right out. So remove all the screws here. So total, uh, it will be eight screws that motherboard holds on to. And now I'm gonna remove the motherboard. Make sure all the other cables are disconnected. They're not connected to any other connectors here. And I'm gonna pull the motherboard. So here's the motherboard. It's a micro ATX. Put it on the other side here. And now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go from the front, remove the front cover here. Looks like a panel here, it would be the last part here. It looks like it's held by the screw here. So I'm gonna use a Torx T15 screwdriver. hold by the looks like a plastic clip yeah and it's hold by the front right here where the USB ports at right here it's got a little plastic clip so that you have to press on the plastic clip to remove it and it's hold by one screw here and it comes right out so be the last part guys is if uh, the front power Power switch on and off and power LED and a hard drive LED. Looks like and it does have a clip right here too that holds by. Try to get that 
Let me see. Okay. And it actually does hold by the plastic clip too, secure clip. So the power switch guys, hard drive LED and uh, power LED right here. And it does hold by the power switch, right? It looks like it does hold by the secure clip right here. You see right here the top one? That's where the secure clip is at, right there. So what you have to do, you have to press on it to release it. It comes right out. So we got that removed and it looks like uh, Internal speaker will be the last part. It looks like it's held by the two screws here. So here are the two screws here. And here's the internal speaker. So it does hold by the two screws here. So this was the last part. And guys, this was, uh, this was teared down this assembly video of the HP Pro Desk 600G1 small foam factor. So guys, this is a Max KDI here. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.